Living on a boat, we're always coming or going places. So when we meet other boats, unless they're going in the same direction at the same time, we often say hi and bye. And meeting other boats with kids has not also happened that often. But we happen to be at the same place in the same time as another boat, Kiwi Summers, that had kids here at Reback. So the kids had some mates to go and explore abandoned buildings and skate with. There's not much I miss from living on the land, but I do miss skating, so I really enjoyed it while we were here. So Lee's just switched out the motor on our dive compressor that we got. So our dive compressor, what happened is the compressor part broke and the little Honda motor that it was on there was pretty much brand new and um, the one that we just bought had an older motor. So he switched it out. So we've got a good compressor and a good motor to show you, Dunny, how, what Lee looks like while he's talking to you on your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday anyway, mate. I haven't got to talk to you. Someone's hogging the phone. But we hope that this year is amazing for you and your beautiful family. And we love you guys and we miss you. So, what we've done, we've got our new compressor and we're just taking a few bits and pieces off our old compressor. Uh, the new one didn't have an extended breather hose on it. Um, also put on a few things. It was set up for a DIN setup, which is the opposite of what we had. I put my moisture indicator on there, changed out um, our repackable cartridge. Also the motor on the old one was pretty hard to start and pretty old so put our motor on this one table this morning which he no longer wanted which was our old dining table made a base plate for that we will mount that on the deck the new one was stainless our old one was steel um, still an old compressor but with very little use apparently so we're about to change that and we'll see how it goes get rid of all the bits and pieces maybe find a fisherman give him the motor Back in the water this time. A few spots on the way up back up to Thailand, we'll be diving. Good job, babe. Last thing to go on the deck, eh? Yeah, just gotta get all the mountings and that and put our water trap on here, which is another little add-on we had. Stop splurting all the oily water over the deck. Um, yeah, so we just sort of made a better one out of the two. Last little bits and pieces. Get our name back on there and yeah, okay, we've got our stickers we pick up on when we get back in the water. A um, few things to sew up at the back and uh, she's good to roll. So Lee put a bit of timber on the bottom of the dive compressor. And he's got these two timbers that he's um, clasped onto the boat. And he's going to mount the dive compressor there. So it's going to be in a better spot than it used to be.
some screws in there and then put four big coach bolts to hold that on two battens that are epoxied and glassed down to the boat. Um, got our water trap here, which we'll connect up. And we've got our case so we can zip up when not in use. So, recess that so that doesn't slide around. Match up with the lugs on the bottom of the um, compressor. I think we're good. I think we're back in action. Another little contraption we've got here, I got this off a engineer um, in Melbourne, TFM Engineering, he does a cave diver and does a lot of add-ons for compressors. This here is um, all our lines that bleed off our water um, go into here so you don't end up with oily water over your deck, so great little idea that one. And then plug that into there, put that one. There you have it, water trap. We've extended our air intake so we don't get any fumes. Also, another little contraption that come from this TFM engineering was um, a little eyeball reader here which lets you know if any moisture starts coming through the line. So you don't want moisture in your air. So. It's just a little bit of a telltale. So if the air's going to go bad, and there we have it. We're back to where we started from. So hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer than 100 hours. We do give it a good workout. is getting back together piece by piece. Nearly everything is on the deck now, except for the anchor. The anchor locker has got to be done and then anchor will be back in. Ready to go. We've got two days. Countdown is on. We had two lockers to fiberglass, this one and the anchor locker. owning a boat isn't it? Yep. It's well, fixing up my mistake. I fiberglassed the locker yesterday and apparently did a pretty crappy job. Oh baby, don't take that mask off, you won't be able to breathe. <laughs> it's like you've been in the snow. Old fashioned shower under the hose. This doesn't look very safe. It wasn't very safe, honey. Don't put the camera on me. Should have put that green helmet on at least. Bit of a rusty one. A nice little stainless one here. He's replacing my Lyra where it connects onto the mask. It was That'll very be. rusty. No. He's got a nice little you. new one for me. Thank you, babe. You had a hidden talent I didn't know about.
Go down low. Go, baby. <laughs> So it's um, Saturday and we go back in the water on Monday. Lee's got a final couple of jobs he's doing. What are you doing there, Bab? Um, I'm just replacing the injectors. We haven't ever done them and uh, we don't know when they were done. Replace the tips with these. You don't actually have to replace the whole injector. It's actually the only wearing bits the nozzle. So got some new tips and it's going to install them now. So you've never done this before and you have no advice on how to do it? No. <laughs> uh, we're at a boat yard so I'm gathering if there's any com complications. There's going to be a mechanic somewhere nearby. I'll have a crack first. i stuck in worse spots than this. You have. <laughs> so these are our new tips, uh, so the whole housing is not really worth replacing because there's nothing worn on that. Um, so I'll have to undo this and insert the new tip. The old one looks pretty dirty and I don't know. No, no, it'll be sitting inside, it'll be, yeah. like, be like there inside the housing and uh, yeah, we'll... Um, See what it goes like after we put a new set in. So guys, it's our last day on the hard sand. We're getting put back in the water tomorrow, which is pretty exciting, but we've got our last final jobs to do, which is uh, get our anchor and anchor chain back in the anchor locker. Make sure everything's off the ground and on Catalpa, so when we get lifted in, we don't leave anything behind. But yeah, it's Sunday. We've got our final day and then we go back in, which is cool. We've been out for a long time, <laughs> ready to go sailing. But guys, about four years ago we put on a chain link. We didn't have enough money to get a whole new length of chain, so we got a second hand piece to add on to our existing one. It was looking a bit sad and rusty and I've cut it in half. It actually looks to looks alright. Had like up to 50 knots of wind with the swell on us. We've um, been on the anchor the whole time. We just put a new one on. There it is there. So it's just a matter of flattening out these eyes that come through. So hopefully get another couple of years out of that one. Or longer. Because we still don't have the money to buy a brand new chain. <laughs> 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 we might be lucky to get this one regaled maybe. So it's looking like there's not much gal left if any. But anyway. So we're about to put our chain and anchor back up on Catalpa. And that's about it. We're done. We're done. Going done back in the water it. tomorrow. What is it? Yeah. Sunday today? Yep. Monday back in? Yeah. Then only one more to clean up. It's this the old fella here. Get rid of this beard and <laughs> a shave and a clean and feel clean again. Get rid of the old clothes, the work clothes. Just about all my clothes are work clothes now. Little rags, throw them out, honey. Yeah. He's got a parcel from uh, Australia with all new undies, so yep. <laughs> that's good. I'm going to be Captain Underpants. <laughs> about all I got that's <laughs> worth wearing. <laughs> uh, all right, so we've also um, measured out our chain. So I know how much chain we've got out. The only, we have only put zippy ties on the ends, but we've painted it before and it all comes off. I think. Colours so you, you can get all different colours. They're a great idea. But what happened with us was um, they fell out, so. I don't know why these two have stuck in there. I think there's probably one more that's stuck on there. But so what you do, so that, that's 20 metres, you put two, and you can do a different colour. But this was actually 30 metres, and we lost one. But I did just learn to know what was what. <laughs> you may do with whatever happens. 
But yeah, that's it. Last job. Oh no, second last job. And then the old girl is back in the water. Where she belongs. So join us next time as Catalpa goes back in the water. We're getting put back in the water today. Here it comes. It's coming to get us. <laughs>